In the morning, state lawmakers will do something that they have never done before. Call themselves back into session after a recess that lasted for six months. So what's so important that couldn't wait until January? CBS 2's Michaela Elich has the answer. She's live tonight outside of the State House. Tomorrow, lawmakers will return to the State House. The plan to decide the censure for State Representative Priscilla Gings and what to do about vaccine mandates. Tomorrow, the longest legislative session in Idaho history will be extended by at least another day as lawmakers return from six months of recess. Since there were, there were not enough votes to signy die as per usual, then there was a resolution passed that bound the House to come back in and close the books by the end of the year. And so this, uh, this, this coming in, in November, on November 15th is to, is to do just that, just to close the books. But more than formality is involved. What galvanized the members to come in and to take up legislation is the, you know, the, the Biden administration mandates on vaccines. With next year's session just around the corner, Democrats say coming back now is a waste of taxpayers' money. To be called back for an undetermined period of time, for an undetermined number of bills, language that we don't even have over something that could have been done in January or is already being arbitrated in federal court seems um, a really colossal waste of taxpayer money and time when we could be doing more thoughtful policy instead of doing it in a fire drill. But Betke says Biden's vaccine rules are an overreach and is well aware of taxpayer money. We're very aware and very cognizant of taxpayer money. It costs every day that we're here. So we want to have a short, uh, efficient session. So tomorrow morning at 730, the House committee will go through proposed bills and then at nine, the full House will gather. Leadership says they hope that this session will only go for about three days. Live in Boise, Michaela Elledge, CBS 2 News.